My name is Stella, and this is about the hook. Episode 1, La Jolla, California, a.k.a. La Jolla, California. As Ryan prepares for the trip, I'm en route from Morro Bay, California. Get ready for our journey to the pelagic waters of the South. Too many thoughts on my mind, I can't sleep at night, so I just keep writing. I don't need no help, I don't need opinion, so don't waste my time then. I just been living online, my city don't show me no love and that's fine. Fuck local radio stations, I got more plays than all of these rappers combined. I'm going, I'm going again, I've been going in, I'm fed up with so many things. I gotta just let it all out, I'm talking about the shit they've been talking about. Telling me I should do this, telling me I should do that. Telling me, telling me things about rap. Talking the truth and that stab in my back, they will knock me off track, no, no. Too many things have been building, been hard to deal with, I've just been drinking. Remember my moves in the past, I'm wondering what was I thinking Lately I'm living in fear, wondering what if the end is so near All of this shit going on, the shootings are strong One shot to the head and I'm gone, I'm losing control but I can't let it go Cause I'm trying to get more and I've been in the moment I've been in the zone and I'm moving alone I don't pick up the phone with my family call, I've been doing it wrong And I don't know what's happening, trying to get what I've just been imagining Getting closer to the Here we are over at Pyramid Lake, it's about 1 o'clock, I-5 Still got a few four hours to drive right to the launch site, meeting up with Alex over in uh, Rest Stop more closer to uh, San Diego. Just here switching drivers and letting Paul take a bathroom break. <laughs> What's going on, Paul? What up? Fucking all looking hard. <laughs> Just pulling up here to Carlsbad, it's 320. Got Paul driving the caravan, leading the way. It's Alex. What's up, Just Paul Williams? Where are we at? La Joya. La Joya, no we're not. Our, <laughs> I wish we were. Uh, Yosemite. <laughs> Carlsbad. Carlsbad. That's right. What's up, man? What's up, bro? What's up, man? Alex. Paul. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Derek is easy. Once we left Carlsbad, we immediately drove over to La Jolla, where our launch site was going to be. Uh, upon our arrival, we didn't realize how soft the sand was, and we actually ended up getting a little stuck. You should have just kept going as you were going that way and drove around. No, I, once I turned my wheel, I was going too slow. It just uh, started digging. I got stuck. Ultimately, we were able to get out of the sand by deflating the tires and uh, giving us a little more traction. And we were able to get through. Go, 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 go straight. Got out. Ryan got out. That was an adventure. Woo! Once we made it through the surf and made it past the MPA or the marine protected area, we started uh, looking for bait, dropping our lines, using sabiki rods. Uh, mainly we were trying to find Pacific mackerel. After a few hours we realized that finding bait is going to be pretty difficult. One of the main issues that we were having is we could not keep the bonita off of our sabiki baits. Uh, pretty much every drop that we had we were, we were hooking into them which on any other day is not a bad thing, but uh, when you're trying to make bait for yellowtail, 
uh, Bonita is not the best bait to be using. Prior to heading down to La Jolla, we were in man, contact with some legend. local kayak fishermen uh, in the man? San Diego area, Ryan and Jake. Uh, we appreciated the uh, input that they gave us and uh, showing us around their home turf. How's your morning so far? Good, good, man. Awesome. The guy that wins the award for the longest drive to get down to this fishing spot is Javier. Uh, he drove down from the Bay Area. Uh, he is the owner of Tails to Tails Lure Company and a phenomenal Always. fisherman. How long have we been up for, Paul? 30... 36 hours? 36, 37 hours. And we're about to hit each other because we're exhausted. <laughs> All for you. All for your viewing pleasure. <laughs> 37 hours up and we're still out. Finally found some bait. First drop, first fish, first time to get this small game reel made by Sigler Wet. I picked it up a couple weeks ago from Pro Kayak Fishing in Pismo Beach, California. This is my first lever drag reel, so it took a couple fish to get used to. The Siegler held its own against this yellow, and I'm dying to see how it does against larger game. Since I wasn't having much luck in the live bait department, I ended up using artificial baits. Uh, in this case, I was using a uh, Phoenix M1 rod with the Daiwa Alexa 300. Uh, I ended up hooking up with this Calico on a Yozuri 3D squirt. Calico! And uh, all I gotta say is for the size of these fish, these Calicos, they can put up a great fight for the size. One of the things I enjoy about fishing in salt water is that you never know what you're going to get out there. There's so many different types of species uh, that will attack the same type of baits. Uh, for this catch I decided to run deeper because we've been noticing that most of the fish have been deep and I haven't been having too much luck on the fly line or on top water. Um, so I decided to run a Rapala X-Wrap Magnum 30. Uh, it was a Pacific mackerel pattern. Uh, these lures are very stout and they'll dive up to 30 feet. Uh, when this fish hit, it, it hit like a freight train. After about 10 minutes, I realized that I hooked into a 5-foot mako shark. The power of these sharks is just astonishing to me. I would have to say for myself that it was in my top three of most difficult fish to get in. Um, after all said and done, the mako shark uh, did swim away strongly without any problems. Yellowtail are extremely fast and powerful fish. They are commonly mistaken for tuna, 
but are actually members of the Jack family. Along the Pacific Coast, yellowtail tend to hang out between Southern California all the way to Chile. It's rare to land a yellow over 40 pounds in our local waters, but can get up to 100 pounds on the other side of the Pacific. Well, that wraps up our first episode of Above the Hook. We hope you guys enjoyed the show and please subscribe. We'd like to thank our friends from Finbom for the hospitality and putting us on some decent fish. Stay tuned for our next episode. We will be reviewing the Rinse Kit. Stick around and get hooked.